neck and um, as you can see I'm still wearing the same thing same lighting same whatever it's a four-part series great I'm just gonna put it out I don't care how many people are watching it's uncut it's not great quality but I feel like I just had to put an opinion out there about the series and maybe if there's more people watching I will actually put an effort on making the series a little bit better yep so the next episode we are seeing is vulnerable so um I would say the third and the fourth episode uh, just in general I feel like uh, they didn't make much mistakes per se uh, like they did in the first and the second also the third and the fourth also involves the actors who are very prominent in the Hollywood industry so in this one um, we had Simran and um, God, um, I don't I, it's, it's a, he's a prominent director so I forgot what his name but yeah he's also there in it and um, there uh, so this particular one the topic that involved is um, rape culture and everything that involves around it uh, this one particular one it doesn't involve in a village however it does involve in uh, I mean like this is a family um, there is a, a son and two daughters and um, they're all really happy they're normal functional progressive they're, they're pretty fine they're like um, there's no like uh, pretty normal just normal family so um, one so it, in those two daughters one of the daughter ends up getting her period so this is I need to put this opinion out which is I don't know if they do it in any other <laughs> parts of India uh, I, I have a feeling they do it in South India mainly but like I don't know if they do it in North India which is when a girl gets her period for the very first time they make it into a festivity and okay so this uh, I heard uh, started off okay sorry I needed to scratch my leg so that's why I'm like pointing the camera it's a very awkward position I'm just sitting at okay so the very um Ah, I'm very okay. I'm good. Okay. Um, the whole point of this girl festivity first period shit is because oh, you're telling people the community she is good to be a mother, and I'm gonna present her as an object to get married. So any prospective guys can now come and marry her. And ask for her hand in marriage <sighs> this was a culture of I don't know uh, I don't know when it fucking started but it's uh, like from all I knew it, it has always been the case and um, thankfully I didn't have that because my mom didn't like that <laughs> so <laughs> a very progressive mom I didn't have that I had a few pictures taken wearing a sari but like like no one came no one gave me gifts we weren't having like all these parties just to say to people oh she can wear a sari now so they actually made pictures of that but like um my mom really hated that shit so um my <laughs> the very weird thing is that my mom didn't know how to react and like i was like actually i was like aren't we supposed to do something they're like, huh, I think, like, she didn't say no, yes. <laughs> which, okay, but yeah, but this whole culture is just stupid, and it has to be eradicated as soon as possible, because it is dumb, and it's very embarrassing, actually, like, don't do that, don't do that, that's disgusting, let the girl live her life, Everyone knows that she's got her period once the boobs come in and everything comes out. Like after a few years, you know she's carrying a pad around and she's also suffering. She's not, you know, every once a month, like she's, she's going to be like, oh, I want to die. 
So yeah, you will know. So um, why the festivities? It, it still happens to this day, even in like uh, like uh, Indians who are overseas, like in Singapore, not just in India. So yeah, okay. Going back to the episode, I have dragged on on this particular topic. So basically, let, let me like fast forward on all this stuff. So the the, the girl, uh, she gets uh, her periods and she gets the festivities. The, there's a younger sister, and then there's these guys who are the brothers' seniors in his school. Are like, oh, that girl is hot. We gonna rape her. And then they kind of take his phone and. Uh, call these girls to come down on night or something like that and he was out somewhere else and the thing is um, the younger sister ends up coming and they kidnap the younger sister instead and basically what they did uh, in a very crude way to put it it's just like oh um, they were like where the fuck did you get the younger sister I wanted the older sister okay let's just do what we what we can with what we can I can't even say it it's just it's just disgusting weird Discussing. and yeah she gets raped and then um she they, they uh, thankfully they didn't kill her but um i say thankfully because um that's something that i want to do which is which is even more fucked up um and uh she comes back bruised and she tells everything that has happened to her parents and her parents are just so this whole thing about is about how the family reacts to such a thing that has happened to their daughter so the mom just goes like we cannot give any police report this is our dignity her her life will be spoiled as well and all that stuff which is which is a very um the rape culture doesn't only stays within india it extends to the whole world because um it's it's a very well uh, spoken topic right now about uh, rape culture and all that stuff but a lot of people just don't make a police report as well so and um the one extra thing that they also talk about in this particular episode is that the mom is very close to killing her own daughter because of this whole embarrassment and how is she going to live her life and because of that she is like she was about to kill her daughter but of course in the teaser it shows that she she just pushes her daughter off the cliff but um in the series again spoiler uh is that she doesn't it's a thought and it kind of shows like oh because of this uh this societal norm i was about to kill my my daughter the person that i brought up with so much love and so much things and I'm like love and affection and all that stuff now because of societal norms i'm actually going to ruin my life and what and the thing was um it kind of it kind of shows light to those topics so it doesn't really show what or i probably fast forwarded not to know what exactly happened but yeah um i will do a rewatch and see what happens but yeah the thing is um the the mom is um so the girl so the it kind of says oh yeah i didn't say what the name of this episode is Van Muggle, which is, it's Van Muggle. So Van is short for Vanam, uh, which is Sky. Muggle means daughter, so it's basically Sky daughter. But what they're trying to say is, fly, daughter, please fly, escape into this world, and you know soar high, even though there will be things that will pull you down. Um, the more philosophical way to say this. So yeah, so um, that's what happens in this episode better than the previous one because there's some kind of progressiveness and a little bit light and um, solution to this problem. Don't kill your daughter and do something about it. Tell her to fly. Tell her to live. So I like that bit. Um, I would say... Um, uh, in terms of um, a happier ending, this came better than the rest uh, because no one really died. So that's great. Unless if I missed something, something like that. But yeah, 
that's pretty much it. And um, do let me know if I missed out anything. Put it in the comments. And uh, see you in the next episode. Goodbye.